Well, for a closer look at what those movements uh, mean, we can bring in now uh, Jamil Ahmed, who's the global head of currency strategy. Now, Mexico and the US did agree a deal uh, late on Friday. What impact is this having on the Mexican peso? Well, the Mexican peso has actually gone full circle over the past couple of weeks. We've seen a 2% rally early this morning on this news, but only a week ago it actually declined 2%. So this is why we say it's a full circle event for the peso, and really it's the latest round of the tug of war between the US dollar and the Mexican peso, and the latest round has been won from the Mexican peso. Now, it's not that much of a surprise that they found an agreement because the Mexican economy has been showing signs of the global economic slowdown, and it was in the interest of Mexico Mexico to make sure that their economy does not face any negative and unexpected repercussions. And these tariffs definitely would have been that. Now, what this has done for the wider global sentiment is raise risk appetite. We've seen global stock markets rally. A lot of risk appetites return back into investor portfolio. Stronger oil prices, emerging markets, emerging market currencies across different regions are also moving higher on this removal of a potential risk. Now, the dollar has weakened slightly. What exactly should we be reading into that? Yeah, the dollar, um, the dollar weakness over the past couple of weeks is definitely a very exciting phenomenon that's taking place in financial markets because the dollar has been strong for the whole of 2019. But over the past couple of weeks, we've seen a reversal. This has encouraged a lot of strength in other global currencies, including the pound, the euro, and of course, emerging markets. Now, what investors are trying to decide is that these trade tensions are US-led. Uh, the United States is the alpha male when it comes to the US uh, trade tensions because they're the ones that are really pursuing it. Now, looking ahead to the week to come, are there any specific events we should be looking out for? We still think that political risk will continue to be the name of the game when it comes to financial market sentiment. So we will look at what's going on with the UK leadership race now that Theresa May has stepped down from the UK Prime Minister. Other than that, any kind of political uh, news that comes through of trade tensions, what impact this has on financial market sentiment. This is what's going to be on the radar of investors. Jamil Ahmed, uh, Global Head of Currency Strategy. Thank you very much indeed for that analysis.